Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we will look at filtering and sorting related advanced tips for pivot tables. Although the title says top 10 filter, there is actually more to this video. So let's jump into the sample file here. Uh, you can grab a copy of this file from the video description below uh, so that you have access to the data set uh, while watching this video. As, uh, as a reminder, this file doesn't really have any data, but it does have connections to uh, data that is in other files. So this, uh, this file does have a data model. It doesn't really have any physical numbers as such. So when you go to insert pivot table, it will uh, automatically default to the data model option and then it will insert a pivot table canvas here. Uh, as a reminder, this uh, data set has three tables, customer calls and customer information and representative information. So this is a call center data set that we have uh, here. Now, uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the filtering options that are available in, um, in, in pivot tables. So we will go and look at uh, a number of calls made by customer age, for example. So we will add age into row label area and then take the calls and uh, take something like customer ID and just put it there. It will give us a um, number of calls made by each age, um, each age group, right? So we have in customers from 18 through 64 and everybody is giving some calls. Now, what if I want to look at top 10 customers by ages with the most number of calls. It's very simple. You can go and uh, do it in a different couple of different ways. I'll just show you the best method, which is we can go to that little icon there and go to value filter and there is top 10. So from here, you can see either top or bottom. So we'll select top 10 items by count of customer ID, which would be a proxy for call count. And you immediately can see what kind of ages are calling most. The next step, while this is sufficient, you may want to also apply a sort order in on this largest to smallest so that it will show you your customers that are placing most calls, which are 55 year old customers. Then you have 34 years and uh, all of these ages. So that's top 10 filter. Now, you might think this is more of a one-off thing, but in fact, the behavior of top 10 and sort is quite dynamic. To demonstrate that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, add a slicer on department. So now we are looking at uh, all departments. Now, if I want to look at what happened within the sales department, as soon as you click on this, this will change and it will list a different set of ages Although 55 seems to be the top in both cases, it does have different numbers uh, further down and the call count for that department alone, along with resorted. So the list gets sorted again. We go to service, it will show uh, 55, 34 there, but 29 comes up. It is now 54 and 19 come up. And when you clear away filter, it will it will show for both sets. So having a top 10 or bottom 10 filter with the slicers is a powerful way to have dynamically sorted information, right? So this is one thing. You can apply this same technique for pivot charts as well. Uh, when you create a chart with just top 10 items or top five items, it will show up in a very beautiful, powerful manner. So that's the value filter technique. Now there is there is more to filters uh, apart from value filter top ten. You can also have a greater than less than kind of a filter. These are fairly obvious, but uh, let's just take a look at greater than, and uh, you can specify count of customer ID is greater than something. So you can say uh, any any ages where we got more than two hundred calls. You can set that up and that list all those ages. So that's that. What about label filters? How is that different from value filter? The value filter applies filtering based on the value that is here. That's the purpose of value filter. Whereas label filter applies filter based on the label value. So you can filter label and then say, show me ages between 20 to 30 and it will have all those values alone. Whereas with, you, with value filter, you're really acting on this. Most of the time when you 
filter a pivot table you are really looking at value filtering but so, there are some cases where you may want to do uh, label filtering also okay so that's how these filters work along with the sort order you can really achieve cool effects i hope you found this particular tip interesting and useful do watch out more tips for learning advanced pivot tables thanks bye bye